What does a NASA rocket test stand have in common with a portable toilet? Alfredo Tehran knows. Both of them are based on piping, plumbing, pressures, flows, valves that you have to control, pumps that have to be turned on and off. Just the, uh, the end product is different, but uh, the engineering and the science behind it is, uh, uh, of the manufacturing and the hardware is, is very similar. Tehran heads AJT and Associates of Port Canaveral, Florida. In 2000, AJT received a Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, award from NASA's Stennis Space Center to design and build a unique rocket test stand for 500-pound engines. The test stand was related to work being done on an evolved expendable launch vehicle, or EELV. By then, the firm had already developed a reputation for designing and building unique, one-of-a-kind facilities. They've recently completed a launch pad for Titan rockets at Vandenberg Air Force Base. And some of that technology was transferred to the NASA project for Stennis. That was one of the, uh, the, the bases. Uh, we actually had to build and put together some fairly sophisticated uh, flight-related uh, pieces of equipment. The test stand was originally a demonstration piece of equipment for students. But with the agency's renewed focus on exploration, it's now used to train engineers and technicians in rocket testing procedures. Over the years, AJT has partnered with NASA on many non-SBIR design and engineering projects, including the shuttle landing facility and the airport traffic control tower at Kennedy Space Center. But one project in particular has been key for the firm. For Kennedy Space Center, AJT developed an ozone-based water treatment technology. The technology was integrated into the refurbishing system used to clean the parachutes for the Space Shuttle's solid rocket boosters. That work was a turning point for the company, as Tehran began pursuing water treatment applications for his core technologies. The brains of the Stennis test stand was a programmable computer technology developed at AJT. If you find better conditions, you just make a change to the software. You don't have to rewire anything. Uh, and, and if you have a problem in the field, you just take out one module and put in another one that's been pre-programmed and you're back in business. It should come as no surprise that the rocket test stand technology has made it into a portable toilet with recyclable water. The units are being manufactured for AJT's Dragonfly systems. One system is now complete and operational on a 150-passenger party boat. There is no discharge from the boat of any wastewater, no discharge, and no dumping. A second system is currently designed and scheduled to be installed in the largest gambling ship in the world. When completed, it will be the only ship to reuse its wastewater with no discharge. Another application for the technology is a portable lab called Mobilis, developed for the military. It can be used as an isolation unit, a clean room, and a self-contained wastewater treatment system. Mobilis is, is, a, is a clean room that is uh, totally isolated from the outside environment. It sterilizes the water coming into the facility, but it is, it's the, the common denominator is the system is the same. The technology, first developed for the military, was matured by the NASA work and then transferred back. In the future, Dragonfly systems may be installed on RVs, planes, and residential developments, all with a little help from a technology created for a NASA rocket test stand.